What's this? There are trees everywhere. Am I even still in Iceland? Yes, obviously. There do exist trees in Iceland. This is what we would actually call... I guess most Icelanders would refer to something like this as a forest or skogur. Yeah, it's a very Icelandic thing. Basically, put a few, a few trees together here and there and it's a forest now. Fuck it. Yeah, it's called a, we call this a forest. It is believed that when the first settlers arrived in Iceland during the 9th century or thereabout that much of Iceland was actually covered uh, with uh, woodlands. Now that would have not been trees like this, like these, Grenitri uh, as we call them. I don't know the uh, what you would call this in English, but um, the only native trees in Iceland would have, back then would have been mainly perk or maybe a few species of either as well, but yeah, leaf trees. And historians and environmentalists uh, disagree on just how much of the country was covered in these woodlands. Some estimates say it might have been up as much as 20%, other estimates go up to say as much as 30 or 40% even. But it's hard to quantify and it's also very much contested why all of these woodlands diminished. Now, it is contested mainly out of political reasons, I presume, because some environmentalists want to uh, wanna use the very human claim that it was all, that it, the woodlands disappeared because of interaction with humans and, there, and therefore they, they use that to justify whatever protectionary measures they want to justify. So, yeah. Mm. However, the main reasons why the or the main, main theories uh, on why Iceland's woodlands may, uh, mostly disappeared are threefold and I'm, I'm pretty sure that all of them played a hand just in the, just uh, probably not in equal measures. So number one is uh, obviously just humans so people would cut down. The Icelandic woodlands at the time were not good for, did not produce uh, timber suitable for say building houses or boats or stuff like that but the timber was still useful for making basic tools and make minor repairs on existing houses and stuff like that and of course firewood some of the forests were probably also cut just to make room for uh, grazing animals such as cattle and sheep and, and that brings us to reason two while the forest may have disappeared was simply the animals that the uh, animals that the settlers brought may have just trampled over them and eaten them or whatever although a combination of factor one and two is most likely in my opinion and then of course third option is that it was uh, due to natural causes. There was of course something called the Little Light Shades which started in the late Middle Ages lasting until the middle of the 19th century and that severely hampered growth of trees and vegetation in general in the Northern Hemisphere. So we can assume that it's pure tobacco, don't worry about it. And uh, so yeah, that's the little ice age may have just made it too hard for trees to regrow. So whenever the people did cut them down, uh, that they simply were unable to recover. And of course, as a lot of these woods disappeared, uh, it meant there were no roots to hold the soil in place. So during the 18, 19th century, uh, there was a population boom in Iceland. So uh, that's when we reached the peak settlement of the country, that is the highest amount of uh, percentage of the land was uh, settled and being settled and farmed and this has resulted that in some areas with all the trees gone and too much animals grazing that the soil eventually eroded and in some areas it kind of caused like semi -desertifica desertification isn't that the right uh, term terminology desertification so, but thankfully in the last 100 years or more we have and slowly been able to combat this with planting stuff in these areas that have been decimated. I would argue that is, that it's Iceland is way cooler for the fact that it has so little woodland. Like there's nothing that I hate more when traveling around in foreign countries and all I see in every fucking direction is nothing but fucking trees. Ugh. Makes me pray for some sort of all-encompassing tree holocaust. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and informative, and I hope you all just have a very nice day. Oh, show and set up.